All right, everybody, we're going to continue where we left off from the previous episode. I've been loving Guardians of the Galaxy so, so much. It's been an awesome vibe. Uh, everything about this so far has been amazing. So don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. This is an awesome series that I can't wait to continue. Uh, and let's just kick it off where we left off from the previous episode. And if you want to catch any of the actual live streams, uh, we I will be trying to be streaming this almost every day to kind of burn through as best as I can. Uh, so any support on the YouTube channel and on the Twitch channel would be awesome. And enjoy the rest of the series. All right, guys. So pretty much, I think my game was a little glitched. So that's supposed to. I don't. So I gotta, I gotta not say nothing. That's what I gotta do. I got to not say nothing. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball thing. Can't tell. What do you mean? about what? There's a new way out. Okay. So it was nothing. There we go. I think my thing was glitched out that we're to do with the freaky fog. So the key all along was to keep quiet. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. Yeah, like that was ever I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. But the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. Yeah. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. Obviously, if some fog yeah. monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. This fog monster can make bad things appear. Maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. One time she gives a definite answer. How about a bridge, group? Yeah, let's go, group. Come on, give us a bridge. All right, so yeah, I was stuck there for a minute. I didn't know what I was doing wrong, and I guess I was glitched out for some Let me reason. Guess. Further down. Well, it, did, you want to save Drax, it didn't allow me to out. continue. Get back to you. But here we are, gonna continue this mission, which, I mean, it's interesting, you know, what the way they say, like, they're fighting their own personal demons. Oh, shit, what the heck is this? I don't remember this part. Okay. Okay, look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. Yeah, no. <laughs> Bog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... <laughs> no, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? room temperature okay okay this is crazy he is probably crazy it's not about her it's about us i'm super proud of us because we've never gone this far for anything before oh this is the one where you inspire them just think about who we were when we started um well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even <laughs> run a tree. Exactly. And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me. Just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank throb. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the destroyer. Not Drax a rampaging criminal. Drax, man. Hey, Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain, or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. I think. You're always there for us, and that's what this is about. Us. 
rolling together as a team, pulling a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Guardian into an army! You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. <laughs> Oh shit, I think I heard, I think I heard, uh, I think I heard Rocket drowning. Rocket. Check it out. Still not dead. I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Rocket, man. Hey, Rocket was stopped being selfish, and he was self. I mean, you know, he he helped his friends. That's awesome. That's that must be a really big lesson for him. Warm. Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matriarch's eyes getting colder in Green Meanie's mind! You hear that, Quill? The kid's getting stronger! Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now 
Now you know what we're looking for. Something sad and soaking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Katathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times. And then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Hold it. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got it go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Ah! Oh! Off the gravity of your treacherous trespass. Oh, shit. Oh. Let's go. You cannot quell a god. My boy is chiseled as. Oh, shit. Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Rain, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Oh! Let's go, Drax! Even though you're still not on our team, let's go, Drax! What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Hey guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No. Wait. Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam, Adam Warlock? Adam it's Warlock! Him. Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Ren. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. So that Adam Warlock, our boy, look at that. That's where he's been this whole entire time. Ugh. Ooh, story time, story time! <laughs> ah, I'm ready. Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. Swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So, can you help us? Manta seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh. Can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... What the butt? It's like the beginning of Space Odyssey. Welcome to the Astral Plane, Snorlord. <laughs> Teleported us? Oh, no. You're still comfy cozy with me. I just merged your mind. Merged our what? I gave no consent to this, Planescaper. She's not big on asking permission. It's all pretty sure this and fate of the galaxy that. Don't you get huffy, God Guy. Your gold hands are all over this mess. What's that supposed to mean? I thought this guy was how we cure Drax. Cure and cause can coalesce. Uh, guys? Is that Drax? Yeah, that's... <laughs> So we're going into Drax's head. 
literally. Green Meanie's in there somewhere. Find him. Convince him to come back to reality. <sighs> Mantis, please tell me we're supposed to be going into the bright light. Pretty sure? You need to reach the heart of Drax's promise. Much deeper than I've ever seen. Wait, if you've never seen it, does that mean it never happens? Hope not. Just keep going. Fear and pain primed him as prey. What do you know about it, Goldilocks? More than I mind. So we're about to go into Drax's brain, everybody. This foul oh, there is, there is, is far too familiar. Something to share with the class there, Goldilocks. There's the big galoot. That was easy. This is just an echo, little fuzzy. Part of poor Greeny can never be. Uh, <laughs> you're not the only one that hears that, right? We got a runner. After him, Spotlight! I don't know this part! Traps! Please be something soft down there! You gotta go. <laughs> Oh shit! Rex? Fucking Thanos? Thanos. Bet you weren't expecting a family reunion, hey Gamora. I'm gonna enjoy this. Hope the rest of you are as oh, ready shit. for this Oh god, we're fighting fucking Thanos, what? Better than therapy! Maybe still considered therapy! Not so tough after all. Something's not right. You fail to fathom the rules of this realm. <laughs> oh shit, he's multiplying. What the? Okay, that's new. Why is that's it going on? Right? I think I remember there being two of them. Twice the ugly, twice the target practice. Oh, they keep splitting it is up. A destined defeat. Fear, butt, yak, and more nonsense. Session. Beer, butts, yak, and more nonsense. Abandon the obsession. What if we don't get this up, Candy? I can't. Peter? Whoa. Hey, what's happening? That's what I couldn't see. Okay, we had to stop. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, we ain't dead. Mantis, I think we did something, but I don't see Drax. Mantis? Oh, good. Not creepy at all. Hold up. Look. I bet I could beat you to the center. <laughs> oh, this is Drax's so fast little one. Drax, wait up! Something doesn't want us to reach Drax. Maybe Drax doesn't want us to reach Drax. There he is again. Drax, buddy, wait up. Forced to follow fools. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, bro. If, if Adam Warlock wants to say something, you got a better idea? I'm all ears. That's right. Why doesn't he help us? If he's got something to say. Oh, assuming we ever catch him, what then? Say I'm working it. on that. Left your friend is too far fallen to be willed back by words. There! Look! Hey, how did you beat me? Because <laughs> I am your father. Bro, this is sad as shit. You've been playing in your mother's garden again. I was hunting. Hunting dirt? No, I chased it, but it was too quick. Only fools rush forward. A hunter waits, chooses her moment. Drax. <clears throat> Papa, are you all right? Drax, come here. It is time to come home. What the flock is that? Yes, little one. Your mother 
awaits. Oh, there's this Adam Warlock. Succubus. Release your thrall. It's not Kansas anymore. Mark are those spawn of shadow. Snuff their source while I widen our They're way. They're coming from those nests. Okay. This is like Inception. Drax. We're digging you deeper into Drax. Fall. That black stuff. Is that Drax's wife? I think so. Hovat. Then this must be Drax's home. <laughs> you two certainly took your time. Only fools rush. Come, my love. Let us go inside. Drax, buddy. Your words are wasted. Wind. Easy, all right. I got this. Come on, big guy. I know you can hear me. Why do you haunt me? We're gonna lose him again. It's me, buddy. Stormlord, remember? We're all here. You're stronger than this, Drax. Come on, you big mug. Don't leave me alone with Quill. Drax, dinner is ready. That's not Hovat. You gotta let her go. I do not know what you ask. see any new promise at least we are an empty eternal echo naked nothing not helping hobo wizard all right everyone just split <laughs> up and look he right called him a hobo wizard he said hobo wizard or whatever i lose a bet if i die in a dark pit mantis a little help here ow rocket i tried pinching myself you and your flark and earth superstitions there look i can't believe that worked let's go Part of him is still with us, I'm sure of it. Why are you doing this? Do not leave me be. You gotta trust us, Drax. We're trying to help. 
Bro, this is so sad. This is so sad. Your blissful ignorance is in ignoble pursuit. Easy, Shakespeare. You got this. Come on. You don't really want to stay in this dark hole? I would endure the depths of Sarduth to be with my family. Drags, love. It is time to eat. of us both. Despite her meager stature, they both ruled. Were. They were. Your quill. My family is gone. What sits before me? It's not real. It ain't good. It is a perversion fed by desperation. Without it, I will have nothing. I cannot be alone again. Surround yourself with the right people. Uh, Groot said some mushy stuff. Let's just pretend I said it too. We're a date. Papa? Are you Bro, okay? this is heartbreaking! Join this is fault! Talk to us, love. I will cherish the time that we had, and not resent the time. Bro, this shit was intense. How you doing, big guy? You okay? I am of sound mind, thanks to you all. My yes, sir! Ends for my lapse of judgment. Hey, you don't owe us squat. Ain't none of us perfect. It's kind of our thing. <laughs> How much do you remember? Great darkness grew with every lie that I swallowed. The longer I remained with my family, the more certain I became that I could never leave. 
Quill. Your child is in danger. If her pain is half my own, darkness may consume her entirely. Not if I can help it. We gotta be smart about this. There's a whole lot of converted between us and her. A whole lot of that black dwarf, too. And anyone wanna tell me why Harry Hobo was able to suck it up? Warrants and why that thing looked like him. Because it is me. Oh, Adam Warlock. I love how they call him Space Hobo. <laughs> that was so fucking funny the way he just like, oh yeah, it's just that Space Hobo. That's all right. Hey, Goldie Braun, want to get back here and explain that bombshell? Time is tight and your understanding unimportant. Can I shoot him? Come on, let me shoot him. Hey, we're in this together and Smart Money says it's going to be a tough fight. Imagine ambivalent omnipotence. Drifting in darkness. Uh, speaking of dark. Such was my celestial solitude. Power without purpose. Until uncovered by Raker. His crew were convalescent. Plagued by a pox, I was serendipitously suited to soothe. A ship full of sick people just happens upon someone with limitless healing? We were need and needed. Symptom and solace. They worshipped the wonder of my ways and declared me divine. I think we know where this is going. I do not know where this is going. This is the scary part? As the flock of followers fawned, a dark delight developed deep within me. And in the shadows it spoke. Weak whelps, pernicious priesting, feeble fools fit for feasting. Hubris made hunger. A cancerous craving called Magus. What did it want? Complete devotion. I too heard this voice, and could hear nothing else. Adulation, flagellation, gorge with grief and consternation. I told you this was the scary part. It was pure putrefaction, sown from the seed of my strength. My soul stone gone sour. I resolved to rip it out. Rip it out? How? A mechanical marvel wrought by Raker would sever the stone from my skull and excise the evil entangled within. So that Next is the, he had the infinity stone in it. Powers. Whatever his wayward wander, he was on that day my friend. He swore to separate sanctity from sin, that my healing could yet be harnessed without harm. Sure, but who's harnessing it? I'm with Rocket. Raker knew exactly what he was doing. That man's a master manipulator. Damn it! And he's got me doing it. I bear no blame for my fallen friend. Our errant experiment all but broke us both. Then how do you explain how your best bud got his hands on the stone and is now taken over the galaxy? I cannot. I think I can answer that. After I rejected my promise, I got pulled into Nikki's. Corral was there. She was trying to show me something. Peter, you can't trust anything you saw in there. This was different, and it felt different. She took me back to the QZ and I saw that Magus thing. I saw it get all twisted up with Nikki and I... I saw it kill Corel. You hear yourself? How'd she show you this if she's dead? Quite conceivably. Her soul may be snared by the stone, chained to the child. We could get her back. Essence can be retained, but not restored. Our echo acts as anchor, manipulated by Magus to deceive the daughter. So it's like Corel said. Nikki needs to accept her death. This feat is not so easily done. Its appetite is insatiable. If unassailed, Magus will absorb all. We're gonna need one hell of a plan. Well, you better come up with it quick, because I see daylight. The bond between Magus and Matriarch must be broken. It harvests its hunger through the host. So, Nikki's like the head vampire. If we cure her, it'll free the rest. 
Why didn't you just say that? Damn. So step one, find Nikki. Step two, convince her mom ain't coming back from the dead. Step three, get that stone away from her and mop the floor with that Magus thing. You show no shortage of assurance. Yeah, this one's Mr. Positivity. It's enough to make you sick. The stone is both bondage and bridge for Magus, and a young mind is most malleable. If Magus is merged with her, she may not survive this ever. We won't let it come to that. Not to join the Golden Downers, but how are we supposed to find the kid? What are you- What's going- Oh, Lara. Oh, Flark. What the heck? What is all this? They've got the Cortex. They can go anywhere, convert anyone. There she is! Bro, 68 pizza does always hit different. survive if I stay. Then we'll stay and help. Go. I'll be where I needed when I need to be. Just trust me. Don't go dying. I'm starting to actually get you. They killed a freaking Russian dog. Mind over matter. We saved my boy. And now we have Adam Warlock with us. You wanna pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Groot says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually <laughs> I'd say who needs him, but... We do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Damn, we gotta go. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. Took all five of us. More, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So yeah. she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? I'm kinder. <laughs> hey, that nickname <laughs> makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. That's hilarious. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I shall be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <gasps> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds yes, like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. Oh, I really yeah. hope our guest agrees to join this buttock-striking celebration. <laughs> I, I hey, love it! Well, you seem like you're in a good mood. Huh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. 
Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved our lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. Yep. You rode and saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. <laughs> we'll save them for the next time. We Bro, I love Drex. I love Drex. Go get up that pizza, that epic. You gotta enjoy that pizza. All right, let's go talk to our boy. Hey, yeah. He's in my room. Hey, Warlock. Open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures. As is its scribe. Okay. What's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Yes, sir. That's the Guardians of the Galaxy, baby. Words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath. Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and, and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Megas can't... No. Cannot. So, we can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. 